All right, everyone, welcome to Sour Horsepower. And today, we are on our Texas trip. And as you can see behind me, we're at High PSI Performance here in Harker Heights, Texas. Um, shop that's real special to, in my heart. I lived here in uh, Fort Hood area for about two years, a uh, long time ago. And on my 2014 SRT Challenger, um, we did a lot of work with these guys. And over here, we have the owner, JD. What's going on, guys? So he became a really good friend of mine when I, when I lived here in Texas. And since we were here in Texas on my little vacation, I decided to stop by, say hi. It's been five years? Yeah, it's about five years. Yeah, maybe a little over five years since I've been here. So we've been doing some catching up. I was actually at the track with them uh, Friday night. I stopped by. And um, yeah, so now today we're going to take a walk around his shop, see what he's got going on. And then we got some couple cars here. Some of the Pride and Joy shop cars that we got going on here. So we'll take a look at these more in depth after we go through the shop. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and walk inside and see what we got. So you walk in, happy to set performance, greeted by lovely. Uh, Ida, my wife. Yeah. Uh, she's obviously it's the weekend, so she's at home taking care of the kids. But normally you'll be greeted by her, uh, and uh, she'll give you any information you need. She handles all the scheduling and then all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, and stuff. That's normally who you're talking to to get pricing and so forth. Yep. Um, we also. Right here are some of the brands that we carry. You can, oh, you can go to highpsiperformance.com and search for parts, whatever you need for your vehicles. Uh, and then if you're looking to get pro-charged or uh, any force induction stuff, you can message us directly through Facebook and cool. get prices and quotes on that. Yeah. So um, that's really nice. You, I mean, this is like, what, 100 brands, if not more? Yeah. So <laughs> that's a lot of parts. And um, so yeah, I'll put the link to his website in the description below so go ahead and check that out to get all of your high performance parts needs but yeah so this is the shop back here it's a little messy i mean we've been hard at it yeah uh, i mean we normally stay a month booked out and so yeah you know we have to schedule times to kind of clean up oh yeah stuff, for sure but and then normally my race car is here uh actually this past weekend we went to go to an event and ended up cooping the head gasket out of the car yeah um, got a little torch there you see but, you know, no worries. Uh, I'll unlock the trailer and show you the car. Um, okay. But, you know, we've got a Hellcat in here for a tune up. Uh, I think we already did long tubes and stuff on it in a tune. Um, this one has been a long term project for us. This is a, a base model 2001 uh, Corvette C5 that, I mean, we've done everything to it from uh, the built motor, pro charge, Tali High Ram. It's got a nitrous outlet system on it um, we just converted this car was a six-speed car uh, we just ripped that out of it and uh, I don't know if you want to stick the camera underneath the car you can see we okay. got a full let's do that uh, 15 inch conversion on it um, with the rpm power glide transmission um, yeah, just recently see, put yeah, the 15s. shoot on the, like, the big goals with this car um, the end goals is going to be eight Okay. Um, should hit the dyno next week, and then we'll be going to the track um, second week of October to do some shakedown runs on the car. She got a little meat under her there. Yeah. There we go. All right. But that one's pretty cool. Um, what else we got here? Got a 2020 Scat Pack that we did the Vicrez wide body on. Okay, so it was not originally a wide body no. car, and we've added one on here. Yeah, so it's got the, the Demon front end, and then the... Uh, the wide body on it awesome 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 let's take a look at the fit and finish here let's see let's see the the quality here of the high psi work so let's take a look here yep that basically looks factory <laughs> yep even all the way around yep that looks pretty dang good so and then you i guess you had to get the side marker lights and everything new yeah. too i'm assuming they're planning on putting wider wheels on it it's funny you say that. So he did have the stock wheels. Those are the wheels he bought for the kit, which still oh, aren't no. wide enough. So we've, we've been discussing spacers. Okay. It's kind of one of those things, you know how it happens, you know? Uh, yeah. Sometimes customers want to go out and order their own parts and they really don't know exactly what to get and then they end up spending money twice, which yeah, it sucks, but I understand, you know, you guys, uh, it everybody's happens. learning. Yep. You know? it happens. <laughs> we all all learning. Nobody knows everything. Oh, it's a 50th anniversary car. Yep. Yeah, that's why the, the hood, roof, and trunk are matched. You know, okay, yeah, yeah. That's from the factory on the 50s. Yep. Okay, all right. 
and then this one's a 0304 Cobra. It's got a MMR 1500 horsepower short block, VMP oh, okay. Gen 2 blower, uh, cams. Uh, currently getting a Haltech set up in it, so it's going to be on a standalone. Oh, wow. Uh, what kind of power are we dyno, looking like? Which yeah. is about to get pulled off. It's a Pontiac uh -huh. Solstice. It's got an upgraded turbo on it. Okay. Uh, yep. Just minor bolt-ons. We just did a DDM upgraded clutch in it because he smoked the stock clutch. How and much just, power is this? Um, this around like 850. 850? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one, the vet, when we pulled it off the dyno last time on the six-speed setup, uh, this car made 1250 to the tire. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty it's, healthy. It's pretty healthy. Is that on spray or off spray? That is on spray. On so spray. It makes, it makes a little over 1,000 on just boost. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty healthy. Yeah. Obviously, you know, with the power glide setup, uh, we're going to lose some power yeah, through yeah. that auto trans. Yeah. But... You, you pick know, it up down the track yeah, you only making up. one shift i mean the car is going to do some some great things down track as for cars outside let's take um, a look let's take a walk we got, we got rid of a lot of stuff we got a lot of stuff out this past week but that mustang right there uh is a 347 stroker okay uh, with a single turbo on it we're working on that the 2017 ram just got a set of headers and cold air intake we're waiting on the pcm to come back from hp tuners okay uh, and then we'll be tuning that and then the black srt uh, is Jess. We just finished a build on that. So it's a built motor, ported head, BC stage three cams, and then a Borg Warner S256 turbo. Yep. So that's like a 500 horsepower uh, start. The silver one is getting a built motor as we speak, and then the rest of it is just ongoing projects. Yeah. You know? The uh, Genesis right here is kind of a secret build, but uh, it's getting LS swapped. Oh, so okay. That one, I was going to say, it is sitting a little high right it's now. It's sitting a little high. There's no motor <laughs> in it, but uh, we got a full sticky kit for it. Okay. Uh, we're going to be LS swapping that and, you know, full standalone, probably be on a Holly or something. That is awesome. But uh, that's kind of a little little stealth project we've yep. got going on. A couple of neons back here. A couple of Skittles getting worked on. You know, it's near and dear to my heart. I've been, I've been a Dodge enthusiast for forever. Yeah. So we get a lot of Dodges, but here at IPSI, we're non-denominational it doesn't matter <laughs> we work on the mustangs the corvettes any any late model american-made car we yep. can handle yeah so as you can see there on the sign uh specializing engine modification tuning upgrades custom builds the srt specialist there but like you just said he does work on everything this is his beautiful truck right here by the way just yeah yeah you said you swapped the 2015 interior yeah, into it? Interior, interior. okay so yeah that's that's beautiful Let's go ahead and talk about the two stars of the show here today. So what, let's start with the, the white Challenger. What we got going on here? Okay, so this is a 2013 SRT8 Challenger. Uh, the owner's uh, Johnny. Yep. He uh, ordered this thing from the factory, um, you know, special. Yep. Um, so it's got a BES race engine short block in it. So it's just a Forge 392. And then we've got stock heads. We've got American Racing long tube headers, uh, custom camshaft in it. Um, and then we went ahead and throw, threw on a P1SE Pro Charger. We did a ATI lower on it. Okay. And then I think it's a 320 upper, not... Yeah, 320 upper. Uh, makes about nine and a half, ten pounds of boost mm -hmm. at 7,000 RPM. Um, it makes just shy of 700 wheel. Yeah. It is on the 85. 85. And, uh fire this one up really quick uh, yeah yeah, yeah. The, the cam in this sounds yeah, actually really dang good uh, he's got some nice oh got a bug attacking me got some nice wheels on the front black face with the white and then yeah so he as you see here he had the red seats he had the full red interior obviously he just took it out because when we went to the track on friday but this <laughs>
let that warm up just so we can see it. But okay, here we go. Most important thing, like like your shirt says, save the sticks. That's right. It's it, a manual six, car. Six speed manual car. It's a manual car. So, so it's kind of near and dear to my heart because my 2014 was a six speed as well. So I did a lot of well, racing with absolutely. that. So absolutely. Yeah. So it's a, it takes some skill to drive a manual car. It, takes it some sure skill. does, or a lot of luck. Either yeah, way. Yeah. Either, <laughs> either way. I mean, my race car is a manual, and that's kind of the thing too. Like. Uh, my neon is a record holder for the fastest stick shift, mm -hmm. uh, first gen neon in the in, in the country. So there's only two cars faster, and they're both autos. So yep. at the end of the day, I consider myself number one because yep. you know what I'm saying it's got a man box. Yep. All right. Uh, so this yeah, one this here one. is Victor's <laughs> car. You can see them online. HR. Yep. Scott. I'll put uh, I'll put both of their Instagram, uh, Instagram handles and stuff in the description below. And yeah. I'll probably put them up on the screen uh, here so as well. This is so this 2016 Scat Pack that uh, pretty much everything yeah. has you, been done You can say it. everything, yeah. Uh, so also this one's a BES race engine as well. Uh, we've got ported heads, custom camshaft. Uh, it's got a GUM Pro intake manifold on it. Um, complete four fuel system. This car went through many stages from being bone stock to a P1 SC blower all the way up to a D1 Pro Charge. Uh, and now uh, it's got a custom twin turbo setup on it. Um, we retained some you of the. You said twin turbo? Yeah, it's twin turbo. Twin turbo scat pack. Okay, all right. Uh, it's so, not really a scat pack anymore, though, is it? <laughs> I mean. I mean, the badge on the side. I mean, says it, it so. says scat pack, but it's not really. I mean, not with all that. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah. We, we retained the Pro Charger intercooler and then we just did the customizing where we cut it out and then yeah, taked see. in this. Uh, it's got the lights on. Big three inch pipe. Um, it's got alcohol injection on it. It's got a, you a said single alcohol? fogger. Okay. You can see the, the lines right here for the alcohol. There we go. Awesome. And the fogger kit there. Yep. Got the solenoids tucked back up in there. Yeah. We did something real cool when we are at the track. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the quick latches before, but you press, press the button and it will pop this off. Oh, wow. And then it, so that way when we're at the track, we can get a lot more air oh, flow yeah, for to sure. the intercooler. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. That is unique. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to say I'm uh, very familiar with everything that's been done on cars, but I definitely have not seen that done before on a charger at all. Yeah. You know, a little carbon bits just to... Cover it up. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. The and same then, sort of wheels here, the STR wheels. STR wheels, custom paint match to the car. That's awesome. And some some forged speed locks on the back. We've got uh, the interior's been customized slightly too. We've got uh, oh, that's a nice steering wheel. Custom steering wheel. The gauge cluster has been changed. There we go. There we go. Okay. But, uh, he likes he likes the simplistic. He's he's into the minor touches. Yeah. You know nothing nothing too crazy. You know, a little carbon wrap on the door on the yeah. gas door. You come around to the back, nice and clean. Got a dual bottle nitrous outlet system in the back. That's when people know you're serious. When you have two bottles, not And just then when one. you look down, you can see our snow performance setup. Okay, for the alcohol? Yeah. Yep. Um, little carbon bits on the back, and then it's dual three inch all the way from the turbo's back. Okay. All right. Let's see if the car, the keys are in this one. Fire this one up. Go ahead and fire this one up here.
another try. Give us a compete. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds good. That sounds really good. And it's just three inch straight pipe all the way back after yeah. the turbos? Yeah. yeah awesome. Good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And you see here, I'll put it here in the video, but HR scat pack. Like I said, all of these will be down in the description below. But yeah, man. Did a lot of good work on these builds. A lot of good work. So, yep. That's going to, I guess, wrap up our video here at High PSI Performance. If, uh, like I said earlier, if you want to contact them, they're in Central Texas. So, they do, I mean, offer. Yeah, I mean, well, not offer. They will take out of state people. Um, but if you guys want to get in contact with him, all of his information will be in the description below. But I cannot recommend High PSI Performance enough. They've done builds on my cars. So, I mean, if you trust me, trust him, it's all good. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Comment below your thoughts. If you have any questions on any of the cars here, go ahead and drop them below, and I'll try and get you an answer. But yeah, that's going to be it. Take care. Have a great day.